My name is Taylor Moon and I will be discussing James Risen's involvement in the Sterling versus United States case. James Risen, a New York Times reporter and author, faced seven years of arrest threats for failing to disclose information the government was seeking from him. Risen claimed his harassment was a result of publishing information the Obama administration intended to keep secret. The circumstances surrounding the case in question pertain to classified information Risen had obtained from former CIA officer Jeffrey Sterling. Sterling was indicted under the Espionage Act of 1917 for leaking the information and sharing it with Risen. Because of this, Risen was subpoenaed to testify in front of a grand jury for his involvement as an eyewitness to the crimes. Risen's response in summary was that he believed the Obama administration had no support for the First Amendment and he would fight for his constitutional rights of freedom of the press. The case began during the process of Risen's publishing of his book called The State of War, The Secret History of the CIA and the Bush Administration, which covers classified information and investigated CIA activities. And one of the major sources who contributed to the book, who included the disclosure of classified information, was Jeffrey Sterling. The bottom line is that freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of press, that is our First Amendment constitutional right. And we do believe that James Risen had that right to report and express the information he obtained. We do agree with the dissent of Supreme Court Judge Roger Gregory when he referred to the government as impinging on the press of free flow of information in our society that does justify our constitutional right and James Risen's in this case that freedom of speech and press still exists. When the government reaches a point where it threatens our liberties, especially our first liberty, freedom of speech, it has become unconstitutional and it no longer protects our democracy. Hi, my name is Sassoon Hartunin. I'm also going to be talking about the Rising case. My portion of the project is to go more in depth over the investigation process that took place with Risen and talk about the circumstances that happened afterwards with the investigation along along with the seven-year timeline that we deal with. As mentioned in 2006, James Risen published a book titled The State of War, which investigates several CIA activities. One activity the book covered in particular was the 2000-2001 operation, currently known as Operation Merlin. Operation Merlin was a project that was intended to buffer Iran's nuclear weapons program by distributing faulty blueprints, but ended up backfiring after Soviet scientists discovered the plans were not authentic. This information was given to Ryzen in 2003 through various phone calls and emails. According to Jeffrey Sterling's indictment, the phone line and email communication was being tapped into by the government and had been closely monitored. According to the indictment, the intercepted communication was routed through a server and located in the Eastern District of Virginia, which is where he resided. After this, the battle between Ryzen and the government took place for about seven years, where they would do their best efforts to have Ryzen identify the sources he used to reveal Operation Merlin to the general public. Ryzen stood his ground the entire time and decided that he would keep his sources anonymous because he thought that was the best way to go. Because of this, both the Bush and Obama administration subpoenaed Risen into court so he could disclose the sources for the book in which Risen declined both times to share any information. As a result, Sterling was charged under the Espionage Act due to mishandling national defense information and Risen was eventually uh, excused and was found, in a sense, innocent. Uh, and my opinion on the whole thing is that although it is a violation of the Espionage Act and Ryzen would be considered a whistleblower, I think that what he did was the right thing. And I also think it's uh, protected under the First Amendment that he is allowed to share to the general public this kind of information. It's, and it's not any kind of information that damages the government. Um, so I think 
it is fair to us as the general public and fair to Ryzen as well. It's just fair to all of us for us to know that kind of information. I think it didn't violate the First Amendment. I think it's protected by the First Amendment.